Synod, synodality, synodal, they're all modern buzzwords that have replaced the favorite words of church leaders from the 60s and 70s, namely renewal and reform. In tonight's in-depth report, Church Militant's Joe Gallagher explains how Germany's so-called synodal path is taking its cues from shenanigans right here in Detroit. In 1976, the Call to Action Conference, the first of its kind, was held in Detroit. U.S. Catholic bishops asked the laity what they wanted the church to do to address the concerns of man in the modern world. The conference was named after Pope Paul VI's 1971 letter, Octogesima Adveniens, where the phrase call to action was first used in a Catholic context. The Pope, addressing the need for laymen to take part in the conversion of the world, directed, it is not enough to recall principles, state intentions, point to crying injustice and utter prophetic denunciations. These words will lack real weight unless they are accompanied for each individual by a livelier awareness of personal responsibility and by effective action. But what came out of the conference were calls for the end of mandatory priestly celibacy, the ordination of women to the priesthood, lay involvement in appointing the pope and bishops, changing church doctrine on sodomy, and giving the green light to contraception. What's happening now with the German church's synodal path is very similar. Lay organizations are calling for the German bishops to examine the topics of power and the separation of powers in the church, relationships and sexuality, priestly ministry, including conversations about celibacy, and women in ministries and offices in the church. A key difference between Germany's synodal path and the 1976 call to action is that German bishops are much more likely to go along with the suggestions made by laymen. Also, Call to Action, or CTA, was almost too outspoken for its time, and most U.S. bishops disassociated with the group immediately after the 76 conference. In 1990, CTA bought a full spread ad in the New York Times, again making demands. The group didn't have the support of Pope John Paul II, and the Vatican supported the excommunication of several CTA members, declaring that the group espouses ideas which are unacceptable from a doctrinal and disciplinary standpoint. The problem now is that the so-called synodality advocated within the German church seems to have support from Pope Francis, who's conducting a similar process worldwide. Doctrinal innovators on both sides of the ocean agree that certain fundamental church teachings and disciplines must change in order for the church to keep up with the world and they're using the laity to accomplish this. The organizer of Call to Action was Detroit's then Archbishop, Cardinal John Dearden. In 1976, he ordained to the priesthood of Detroit's current Archbishop, Alan Vigneron. 